Hi everyone, my name is Simon Morse and I am a children's book author and illustrator based in the West Midlands and I've written books such as The Adventures of Rocket Kid and Say It Like a Snake and in this short video I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I like to do when I visit primary schools around the UK delivering writing workshops. My workshops are available for primary school children in years one to six and obviously it is tailored for each individual year group. But the actual basic principles of what I like to do are kind of the same and that is that we like to talk about stories as if they're buildings because children obviously can relate to buildings. They know that buildings have different purposes, there's different parts to buildings and they need to be planned and thought out carefully. So by relating it to this it helps the children really think of a real world example that they can link their story to and maybe think a bit more about if it works or if it doesn't work. So as you can see here in the picture, this is just a very basic idea of how we like to think about how a story is a bit like a building. You see the foundation, the door to drag the reader into the story, or the building blocks, the solution where it comes in, working towards the point, and specifically the point of the story, which I like to make quite a big deal of when doing the writing workshops. But one of the most uh, common problems with primary school children's stories is that there's parts of the story which seem to come from way left field and don't really make sense in the story. So I really try and focus on how the building blocks fit together in a story to make sure that actually each of the parts the children put in their story seem relevant to that story and work in the story instead of having these crazy ideas added to the story as we go along. Now another problem which comes up quite often in uh, children's stories is the personality or characteristics of the main characters in the story. One moment they'll be feeling one way and the next moment they'll suddenly change their mind and they'll be feeling happy or sad and it won't necessarily make sense in their story. So I like to focus quite a lot on how the characters feel in the story and the way we do this is by really thinking about it visually. So we visually think about how a character will look at a certain time as certain events are happening in the story. And as the story develops, if the events change and affect the character, then his expression and characteristics will then change. Now obviously in the younger year groups we do this as a group activity, building a large building, planning the parts together. But for the older year groups, uh, I like to look at them uh, doing an individual plan. So they all plan a story themselves. They plan it using these interactive worksheets, we keep it very visual. Uh, very fun, uh, very loose and sort of jovial and it really helps the children feel quite motivated about story writing instead of thinking about it as something miserable because I like to think it gives them an opportunity to make the most of their imagination and come up with something which is totally unique to themselves and maybe express their personality a little bit. Now I've actually done events similar to this uh, around the country in some of the biggest bookshops and the biggest libraries around the country and this has really helped me understand how to best deliver a workshop like this and to make it fun and entertaining for the children while still actually helping them learn something which will practically help their own story planning and writing. Now for more information about my visit uh, or how to book me if you'd like me to come to your school uh, drop me an email on simon at tierpublishing.com or visit our website at www.tierpublishing.com Thanks for your time and do feel free to get in touch if you have any questions.